David, firstly, how sickened do you feel by that late decision depriving your men of perhaps a just point? Luckily, I've seen it again, you know, and, and you get that opportunity to have a look at it and, and, and you can see it quite clearly. I was coming off the pitch and I waved up to Leandro who did the commentary and he had a great view of it and obviously they can see it again and again. And uh, he's just guessed at it and, and, and I thought at the time he'd just guessed. Um, Mel's has struck it. As soon as it's come off the post, Dan has reacted. He's onside at that point and, um, you know, he's not in line with it. I think that's the thing, you know, when, when you want someone to just make get that decision right at the end. Um, and, and I think 3-3 three, three would have been a just a just result for, for what we've seen today. You know, a real committed performance by two two teams that you know didn't want to let up. Um, it was a real um, it was it was it was heated at times, but passionate and committed. And uh, you know, we tried to fight back, and uh, and I thought we'd done it um, again. You know, to to try and get that equalising goal against with our fans. You know, right behind it, it would have been a, probably a good end to the game, but chalked off by a decision that's wrong. What was your take on the goals? Well, we opened ourselves up. You know, it's not it's not like us to open ourselves up, and and there could have been more goals for Oldham. You know, and uh, and there could have been more goals for us. And it was it was first half. We we got a bit anxious. One went one nil up. We were just snatching at things, crosses. We weren't missing the the front man out. Um, we didn't. We weren't, Chris. You know, you look at you look at Tyler's finish second half. It's absolutely clinical. But first half, we were just snatching. Just looks a bit edgy. Um, but then second half, it just turned into like a basketball game that ebbed and flowed and swayed. And and all credit to Oldham. You know, they've they've committed to this football match and um, you know and got the three points. Do you have to pick the lads up now? Without a doubt, but we've had to do it all season. You know, it's something that. Uh, I didn't say too much afterwards, you know, because um, emotions do run high, especially, you know, what happened at the end of the game. Um, so now we'll, we'll break it down, we'll, we'll watch it again. Um, you know, games we've won, we watch, games we've lost, we've watched. And, you know, we'll make sure we get them right for, for the Stevenage game. The next thing that we can affect as a group uh, is the Stevenage performance. And uh, we'll be working really hard on that. And, um, and then, you know, We'll just take that, you know, that one game at a time, and, and that's all you can do, you know, when when you've had an afternoon like we've had. It's turning into one hell of a finale, isn't it? Yeah, it probably always gonna do, you know. Um, there's only, like I said, Lincoln took took it out of everyone's hands, you know, early doors uh, by being consistent, and um, you know, we've we've got to a point where um, we're right in there, right in the mix, and uh, the destiny is our in our own hands, and. You know we've 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 been consistent this season, but just not to get promoted um, easier than what we've done. Probably needed some more, you know, away away results and performances, and we've not got them. So uh, yeah, we're in, we're fighting as we've seen today, and now we've got to um, we've got to steer the ship and get it get it back steady again. Thanks, David. Cheers, Steve. -O.